सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओं so this disc is starting here now this is very funny <laughs> today we are going to see about a little bit of uh, that film wonder with julia roberts so it's uh, kind of funny because we also are dealing with julia roberts today there is batman and there is also karna our radeya from mahabharata as archetypes of this um, talk today, okay? Are you aware of who is the archi enemy of Arjuna in the battle? That also the other archer, the uh, Radeya? Do you know his story more or less? Okay. Yes, I know it. Good. Uh, so th the nakshatras that are going to be with this Vinshotari Lord here, Ketu, Ketu. And Ketu is going to be Ashwini, Maga, and Mula. Okay? And the uh, red arrows are presenting in the disc. Why did I got this uh, film? Because probably everyone knows this story or probably everyone has seen this movie, okay? And this movie has a very impactful story of Augie, a 10-year-old boy that is facing his, uh, from our perspective, okay? This is not actually a chart reading. We are doing a symbolic reading. He is changing from his Ketu Mahadasha to his Shukra Mahadasha. Clearly. <laughs> Evidently. Uh, in that film. Okay? So, people that are born with karmic type number one usually will face a very difficult first karmic period. And in his case, I'm not so sure if he was born or if he had those scars. But his first karmic period, doesn't matter if it was five, six, or seven years old, were kind of hell. An astronaut karmic period. Okay? So that's why I took this symbology. But also, if you are aware of um, Batman that he was born and when he was very young the joker killed his parents okay or radeya that he was born and uh, since he was born he was kind of left to be raised by other parents we can take these as different archetypes in the case of radeya he was clearly magha he was a king a higher king, but he was not acknowledged as a king. Okay? In the case of Batman, it's Mullah. <laughs> his first period, he saw his parents dying in an assault in front of his eyes. Do you want anything more traumatic than that? <laughs> or it's enough? And in the case of Wonder, we can call this related to Ashwini as archetypes, okay? Because these are not actually people with our uh, birth chart. But they represent um, patterns. That's what we are interested to discuss. Okay? And those patterns, they have one very important um, similar aspect. That is, the first karmic period, it was not easy. And usually because Ketu is a Kruragraha, 
it's uh, demanding. It's not a very soft or gentle. People that are born with this karmic period. Ah, now let's go back to the uh, to the presentation. Here I have brought again the slide that was from the first open class. Okay. When a person is born in a Ketu Mahadasha, the fifth karmic period is going to be of Mars, and we are going to discuss this. Here is Julia Roberts again that we presented in the second uh, free session. Okay, that is a famous, a celebrity uh, going through those karmic periods. Okay. And now today we start this session with this chart. So if you see, it was not very, it was a little bit time consuming to do that, that uh, graph here. But the first line, there is seven dots and the last one, there is one dot. Okay. I'm not going to do this with sugar because it's going to be 20 lines. <laughs> But from now on, I'm going to represent being born in the first quarter, in the second quarter, in the third quarter, in the last quarter. Okay, that is going to be more important for us in general rule. So the next chart is going to be Shukra with 20, Shukra with 15, Shukra with 10, and Shukra with 5. Okay, and this Keto here that is changing is going to be all seven in the end. Okay. So, first karmic period, finishing from zero years old and one second, one day, one month, doesn't matter, up to maximum seven years. Okay? So, those charts are going to be like that. It can be finishing. If it, it was zero plus 20, is going to be 20. If it was seven plus uh, 20 is going to be 27. So the f second karmic period for a person born in the Ketu Mahadasha is going to be finishing from 20, 27 to 27 and so on. Okay? 26 to 33 and so on. Okay? But we are going to discuss this. And before we discuss that, uh, I need to clarify if there is any question right now if there is any doubt right now let's clarify before we move along because if it's already confusing <laughs> we are going to be with no hopes uh in, in the following discussion are we clear that from that the first karmic period can be finishing from zero day zero years plus one second up to seven years is this fine up to here um question so three. they could also start before birth right like they could be born when they're in year three of their k2 period so it's like this let's go back to that previous example okay how do we decide when your time is going to be here so let's go back so those nakshatras ashwini maga and mula they are going to be from zero degrees of aries for ashwini leo for um, maga and mula for sagittarius from zero degrees up to 13 degrees and 20. Okay. If the moon here is from zero degrees six minutes in the nakshatra of Maga, that means there is going to be 90% left. And the date there was March 5, 2023. And the period was starting on February 14, 2023. So of the seven years that were being to be maximum, this is going to be six years, 11 months, and so Okay? So it's just like you have a music that is seven minutes long. 
okay? And the person can enter the room in any time of those seven minutes, okay? Any time that it, the person enters, it's not wrong or right, it's not good or bad, it's just what it is, okay? Is where she entered into the party. <laughs> you know when you go to a party and you reach the party in the middle of a music? It's like that, okay? Well, so it, it, could, sorry. Please, please. it could be finished before seven years then, if it's like year three. Finishing before seven years. It's very rare that it takes almost full. Okay? Okay. And we are going to see this with our examples also. Okay? So the discussion here that what is important is it's not a problem that is less than seven years for Keto, less than 20 years for Shukra and so on. Okay? Good. Okay.